How to create an action sequence in Cocos 2D. Demo using the Hello World layer. Produced by Lon Haas Ford. In this demonstration, you will learn how to create a sequence of Cocos 2D sprite actions. This is the start Cocos 2D Xcode project running in the simulator. You see it adds a sprite and moves it across the screen. Now let's take a look at the tutorial's finished version of this project. It starts with the move to action for moving the sprite to the right side of the screen. Then there is a 180 degree rotate by action. A delay action of one second is inserted after the rotation. Then the sprite returns to the starting point on the left side of the screen. Again the delay action of one second. And finally the rotate by action is repeated. So let's get on to writing the code for this. Here is the start Cocos 2D Xcode project that you can download from this tutorial's webpage. In the Hello World layer implementation file, the CC move to action is already completed. Below that is a code comment line that contains the CC rotate by action. We'll add that back into the code and change the rotation from 4.2 to 2.0 seconds to make it a bit speedier. Now you may think we need to add a run action to the ship for the rotate action object. It will work but not necessarily how you would expect. To see what happens, let's copy the run action line that uses the move action object and now we can change move action to rotate action and run it in the simulator. And here you see that the ship appears to be spinning out of control. What happened is that the actions ran simultaneously. Rather, we need them to occur in a sequence. Cocos 2D has the CC sequence class to bundle CC action objects together. First, let's remove the run action code for the rotate action object. After the CC rotate by line, we can create a CC sequence object. We will name it action sequence. Assign it to CC Sequence Actions. And we will need to create as arguments a list of CC Finite Time Action Objects, which CC Move To and CC Rotate By are qualifying candidates. So first we add the Move Action Object, and then the Rotate Action Object, and you notice that nil is required to terminate this argument list. Next, for the ship's run action argument, we can replace the move action object with the action sequence object. Try this out in the simulator. Now Cocos 2D runs each action in sequence as we needed. For the remaining code, we can create additional CC actions we need and add them as arguments to the action sequence object. So after the ship rotates, we need to add a delay before it begins to move back to its starting position. What we need is a CC delay time object. We will name it delay action. Set it to CC delay time. Action with duration. And the time is one second. Now add the delay action object as an action sequence argument. The next action is to return to the starting point on the left side of the screen. So we will create another CC move to object. Name for the object is move back action. It is assigned with CC move to. Action with duration, position. Let's make the duration three seconds. And the position is 100, 160. Add the move back action object as another action sequence argument. And we can take another peek with the simulator. So you can see the ship moves to the right and rotates as before. 
Then you might notice the one second delay before it moves back to the left side of the screen and then stops. You can reuse Coco's 2D actions in a sequence. We will add the same delay action object and then the rotate action object. Now test in a simulator. And there is our finished product. Thank you for watching.